fried, boiled, poached, or scrambled. There are many ways to enjoy eggs. And here now cooking up a storm with his favorite ways to prepare eggs is meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Hey, thanks for having me. Well, okay, so we are talking eggs today. What's yeah. your favorite way to prepare eggs? So I've actually got two of my favorite ways that we eat the eggs in our house. Uh, but I tend to think that it takes a little extra work to have some of these eggs. So the eggs that we've got here today are actually some special eggs. Oh, what makes them so special? Uh, have you heard of the Dicky Chicks before? <laughs> I oh. have. They have some good hits. They, they do, don't they? The Dicky Chicks. Uh, you know, they're, they're doing their little singing. Uh, I think we got some video of them singing a little bit too. Can we hear that and watch in there? So this is a video I took last summer. Here, can you hear me in the background there? They're chit-chatting a little bit. They're they no are. They're noisy little girls. They are very uh, needy. Kind of this was last a little summer. bit like velociraptors. They, they, when they run, man, I tell you what. Uh, so I got some ice there from last summer to cool them off. They're loving eating that. They are spoiled rotten. That's three of them there. Those are the barred rocks. There's a, uh, six of them in total that my parents have at their place up in Gibson City on the farm in the middle of town. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, I think this is the first for them making on TV. They're the cutest thing, aren't they? They are, and they, they make, the they make some great eggs. They so really do. What are the two ways we're going to share today? So the first one we're going to do is fried egg. Okay. And there's a special step with a fried egg that I think makes a big difference. Uh, and so we're going to show you what that is. First off, I want to talk a little bit about some oil. You know those cans of oil you get at the store? Yeah. I've had this before, and, and you've loved seeing this. I'm a this big year. fan of all your tools. Yeah, this you, you pump it, and you're getting only the oil. When you have the spray cans, it's got this extra filler, and I just don't yeah. want that. So uh, I use this here. I don't know if you can see it. It's that. It's like a pump oh. action, like, uh, like yeah. a Red Rider BB gun from a Christmas story, right? <laughs> so we got that. Careful, so I'm gonna spray put your some, eye out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll oil your eye mm -hmm. out. So I'm going to spray some oil in here, and it's straight oil. There's no added, no extra. I've got olive oil in here. What would be the difference than just pouring a little oil in there and doing a little swish? You could do that as well, but it's if you pour oil, way, Heather. How, <laughs> much, how much more are you going to get? That's right, right? So we've got that with oil there. Okay. This is actually all ready to go. So it's, it's uh, i got the pan heated in here. This is the special step. What I like to do is I like to actually put my seasoning in for the eggs first. And what it does is the heat is actually going to allow the seasoning to blossom a little bit and uh, spark up. So, so what some, are we using here? We've used salt, I've got paprika. Some paprika. And some garlic. Looks like my pan might be a little bit hot, uh, but we'll stick it in there okay. and uh, it'll be ready to go. So that seasoning doesn't take long at all. I mean, we're talking a few seconds. Can you smell it? I yeah, can. I can. Yeah, that smell is getting a little, a little bit of burn on me here. A little hot in that pan, uh, but that's okay. It's still going to taste good. So you kind of want to keep the temperature down to a lower. Yeah, lower you got to find tip. that balance here. Uh, Heather was talking a little too much during commercial break. So. Oh my word! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so we got some of these eggs that are going in here to be fried, and uh, the the seasoning that's in there. Even if it gets a little burnt, that's okay because it's going to uh, add so much flavor. That heat allows it to open up. And we're going to set that there for a little while. Should I do one more? Are you hungry? Sure, we got, we got this, this fourth corner waiting for it. Yeah, we got Maximize one there. the opportunity. That's right. So that seasoning is going to be in there, and uh, it's allowed that flavor to really blossom up and open up on that. So it's all set to go in there. We're going to fry it like we normally would. And uh, sometimes what I'll do too is I'll take another pan and cover it. That'll allow the heat to cook at the top so the bottom doesn't burn as much there. Mm -hmm. And uh, once we got that going, it'll be ready to go. It doesn't take a whole long time to fry eggs. Now, you've probably fried eggs before. Oh, yeah. And didn't I tell you this trick one time? You too? did, and now I use it all the time. Yeah. Do you, you do you like your, your yolks runny, or do you like them hard? We tend to like them, I tend to like them a little more runny in our house. And I'll tell you what, um, I've actually, do you remember the fried egg bowls that we yeah. made? This is how I do that recipe on there. So I'll put that recipe for the fried egg bowls. It's sweet potatoes and some vegetables. So it was amazing. It was Bacon, cheese, all that. Yeah. So we'll let that uh, cook in there, and uh, it's going to take care of itself. Be ready okay. to go shortly. Okay. Again, that key, seasoning first for a few seconds. Get those eggs on top. Let it roll. Okay. Right into it. We're going to let this work its magic. Let the eggs and the seasoning do a little talking, a little talking. as Jacob right. says. Um, we'll have another way to prepare eggs coming up. And in the meantime, connect with Jacob over on his Facebook page, and he shares all of his great recipes there. The big reveal of our eggs coming up. We're back here in the CI Kitchen with Jacob Dickey, who's cooking up a storm and showing us multiple ways, a couple different ways, to make eggs. That's right. we got the fried egg here. I'm just flipping them now. And uh, that seasoning on the bottom there has uh, cooked on through. It's going to give it so much flavor on there, so you can flip those eggs over. And if you want to, you can just leave them runny like that on the top. Uh, I don't know if you 
a fan of that, Ryan? You I, I actually am a fan of that. So there you go. If you like want to try that one, maybe Heather does too here. If you awesome. want to cook it a little longer, just leave it in the pan. Yeah. That's your fried eggs. You got to have toast, though, to dip, do a little dip in. Yeah, you just toast or put them in a bowl, things like that. Yeah. Let me talk about the scrambled egg. This way is really good. And my wife and I actually learned it from a uh, little bed and breakfast we visited. Hold up. In, what are you putting in, in those eggs? Um, we learned in a bed and breakfast in Virginia that we went to. This is the secret to scrambled eggs, mayonnaise here. This is what? this is QP mayonnaise. You can use whatever mayonnaise you got. I got a little bit with my first egg there. All I gotta do is scramble that mayonnaise in. It's going to make the eggs very creamy as I mix it all together there. And uh, you just get that first egg. It's coming along there pretty good. Looking nice and almost fairly even. What do you think? That looks pretty good there, doesn't it? Yeah. Then from that, we're gonna add that second egg. And uh, there it is. Oop, I lost a little shell. That happens sometimes, doesn't it? That's okay. Just got to get in there and get it out. Here. Once you've got that scrambled, the mayonnaise gives it so much flavor, and uh, it's going to cook very fast. I've got my oil in the pan here that's ready to go. Yeah, that's all, yeah I hear it. Yeah, we'll drop it in there. You'll hear it go shh. Yeah. This is the most important part right here. For good scrambled eggs, we're just going to keep moving this around and let that uh, egg you'll cook there in the pan. I'll just keep scraping it. And if it gets a little hot, I can pull the pan off, but that mayonnaise is going to add a flavor in there that's really delicious. That's the only way my wife and I make our scrambled eggs. Really? Now. A little dollop of mayonnaise with the first egg. Doesn't have to be much. Blend it together there. Use your second egg, scramble it, and you want it to be a little bit runny still at the end. Um, that way, the egg's still going to cook when it's done there. And uh, you can serve this up real well. We're almost done. Can you tell how fast yeah. it's cooking? Yes. And nothing worse than dried out scrambled eggs. Yeah, so you're I right about you. that. I'm pulling them out while or, they're still a little bit runny. Or runny eggs. I think yeah. watery eggs are not very good either. There's a fine There is a balance, a fine line between good and bad eggs. That off here. Okay, I'm drop still these eggs fascinated by that mayonnaise. I've never seen that brand. It makes all the difference there. Grab a spoon or a fork, oh. Heather, if you want to. Okay, you've got avocado you over yeah, here. Yeah, you can some got avocado ketchup. on the side with it. Uh, maybe do a few slices of that. Look at that. Um, another way I love to eat it is with the, uh, I don't know if I brought it, my, had a, oh here it is, it's my everything bagel seasoning. A little bit of oh, that yeah, on there too. Oh, I too. love the everything bagel yeah. seasoning. So there you go. There's That's a plate awesome. of little eggs. Yeah, and I'm going to try the fried egg here. You having the fried egg? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's Can you tell the difference? Do you yeah, like it? I do. It needs a little salt. For me. It does. I, That's, I, I, get, I, I just put the everything yeah. bagel seasoning on there. I missed that bite, so I better take another yeah, better one take just another to, quick, so. to test it out. But the so. seasoning is built into this egg. Yeah, it's already which there. It's really for good. So a little bit of everything really bagel good. seasoning and an avocado, a little salt in there. Goes a long that way. That is so good. My husband doesn't do condiments, but if I just snuck it in like that, I never know. He wouldn't even know. I never know. All right, <laughs> Jacob, this was so good. Thank you. That those dicky chicks, they make some good eggs. They do. All they right. Do. We're, if you, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> They're the real stars. <laughs> this is a Dicky Chick approved recipe, and you can find it over on Jacob's Facebook page, which we'll also link up over at CIWing.tv.